This guy got drunk and came up with a ridiculous idea, but the end result? Epic. This guy may have had a little too much wine at a charity auction about a year ago. This led to him bidding on and winning the facade of a hobbit house. He said the next morning he woke up and his very first thought was, oh shit, I bought a hobbit house last night. At this point, he could have cut his losses and sold or stored his winnings in some garage, letting it go to complete waste. But instead, he decided to make the most of things and build an awesome playhouse for his kids. The dimensions are 18 feet wide and 8 feet deep. Ceiling is 6 foot 6 inches high at the high point. So, as you can imagine, it's for kids or hobbits. He ended up sinking a good amount of money into this project. How much? Who knows? A gentleman never tells. He had to use some big equipment and dig a very big hole. Then he had to figure out how to build the floor framing. The walls then went up. And you can see here the beautiful front that was won with a little help from his friend, Wine. This looks like a good amount of work. No Hobbit house is complete without wiring. Things started coming together nicely. It looks like there was a little child labor going on. I'm not even that big of a fan of The Hobbit and I still love this. The stepping stones are a very nice touch. Beds! Do you think they're Hobbit beds? When someone criticized him for putting modern fixtures in a Hobbit house instead of some swinging chandeliers, he said that he didn't need his kids swinging from the ceiling. Before the door was put in. And here is the final picture. The owner said that it's 95% finished. No permits were required for this project. It's under 200 square feet and qualifies as a shed or outbuilding. The electrical is not permanent. He plugs in the house when the kids are playing in it.